It's Black Restaurant Week here in the Bay Area, a campaign that shines the spotlight on small businesses owned by African Americans. We are featuring some of them this week. Here's one of them. Hi, my name is Teresha, and I'm the owner of El Nuevo Frutilandia here in San Francisco's Mission District. Today, we're going to make the popular mofongo dish that's from Puerto Rico. We make tons of them. Come on in. Hello, my name is Rafael Frias. I'm the co-owner of Fortilavia, Cuban Puerto Rican restaurant here in Mission celebrating 50 years. Today I'm going to show you how to make a typical or a classic dish that we sell a lot here. It's mofongo. We're going to add shrimp to it. So it's a shrimp mofongo. We're going to start off with our sauce. Our ingredients are butternut squash, red onion, red bell pepper, green bell pepper. We're going to add some pepper, garlic salt, cumin, and tomato base. We'll start off by adding some, we'll add some olive oil and add all our ingredients. If you're just making it for yourself, I would say you can use half a cup. We make it on a bigger scale, but for a personal size, half a cup of each ingredient is sufficient. We're going to saute this. We're going to add pepper, garlic salt, cumin. The best we're trying to make is a almost like a vegetable soup. This is vegetable stock. Yeah. So we can have that as a vegetarian plate. Then we're going to add, we're going to let that to the simmer. Add our tomato sauce or base. Add some more vegetable stock. And we're going to bring that to a simmer. And for TV magic, we have our mofongo sauce. Now that we have our sauce, Set it to the side. Now we're going to start the assembly of the actual mofongo. Mofongo consists of green plantain. It's a green plantain mash, and we're going to form it into a cylindrical slice like that. But you need to make sure that your plantains are really green, nice and fresh. A little hard to peel, so you might want to soak them in some warm water for about five minutes. Once they're soaked and peeled, we're going to chop them up. And if you're making one serving, probably one and a half banana would be plantain. Yeah. From there, we're going to fry them. Fry them for about three to four minutes. Once that's done, once again, through TV magic, we have some already prepared. This is a pestle and mortar, a pilon, that we call it. We're going to mash this into a mash. So we're going to pour our fried plantains into the pilon. We're going to add some salt, a bit of pepper, a little bit of stock, and the most, one of the most ingredients is the garlic. I like garlic, so add lots of garlic. From there, we're going to mash it. Mash it to a whole. When we're done, we'll form it into the spiritual. Form it. I'm going to use the end of my pestle to make an indention in it, and this is where we're going to stuff it. We'll put it back into the deep fryer. We'll fry it for about, I would say, say 45 seconds. Once again, Magic TV. We haven't done already. From there, what we're going to do now is now start assembling on the phone. Meanwhile, while we're making 
the mofongo and the sauce, my wife, sauteed some shrimp, 220s, in garlic, red bell pepper, butternut squash sauce, and salt and pepper. So we cut, we had four shrimp. We cut two up, this in the center, it's gonna be things that are stuffy. And now we have our mofongo sauce when it comes to the plate. We'll add a little bit of mofongo sauce in the center. Dip it, and we're gonna add our mofongo sauce around it. Very nice, gentle. Surround it, center it. This is our vegetable-based mofongo sauce. So it's vegetarian. If you want to use it on your thing, by the time she let her handle. So we use it for also. So here we go. Now we're going to use our shrimp that we had. We're going to marry them. We're going to top it off. Add some more sauce. And this is it. We're going to put, we also have taro chips that we throw quite a bit. So we're going to decorate it and top it off with a taro chip. We have pickled onions that we put on top. Some parsley. And then we have our shrimp folder. Thank you. Please come and join us.